interesting that was. Uh, I mean, so many things happen in our world today. You just got to be alert and alive. Otherwise, uh, not too pleasant things tend to happen when we are careless. I think that is a thrust of Dark Heart. And when you get to read it, uh, much more than he has explained it, you get to see that you know, the world can be very complicated at times. And human beings indeed have dark hearts. Well, <laughs> up next is a reading. Let's enjoy this. Hi, I'm Toyin Okanuga. I'm a project officer for a government organization. But most importantly, I'm an author, an author of my memoir called Hush to Roar. And today I'll be reading to you a chapter from my book, which is my life of love, childhood trauma, but most importantly, I'd like to say my recovery, my healing journey, which is poignant in this. So listen up, guys, as I read to you chapter 19 called My Life, My Dance. Having come through my childhood experiences, I know we have it in us to pull through adverse situations. Showing gratitude and rewriting our script allows us to give life all we've got. I learned to increase in wisdom and recognize that bad things unfortunately do happen because life promised us just that, life. Our scripts are written once we are born, and our brains appear to be wired nicely. But if they get drastically stripped apart, we rescript our lives in a way that makes it bearable to cope with life's demands. I certainly did that. As children and young adults, we rescript our lives and sometimes dissociate ourselves from the reality of our lives. It is impossible to walk around with so much pain for so long. As an adult, I have chosen to live full out and no longer allow my past to have a hold on me. It was clear that living an inauthentic life doesn't align with my character. As a result, I would be in constant cognitive dissonance, knowing that my behaviour was not one of authenticity. Still, shame did make me behave inauthentically. I had to resolve and restore this cognitive dissonance. If I didn't, it would continue to manifest itself as stress, regret, shame, embarrassment of feelings of negative self-worth. The effect would be that I'd continuously frustrate all those around me. When we face adverse childhood experiences and emotional neglect, they make us crave love externally. We tend to live or dance in other people's worlds to be accepted. We eventually become resentful if love doesn't get reciprocated. It was certainly the case for me. I wanted to be liked, to be loved, but I never for once associated this need with my childhood. I don't think we often do. There is a lot of internalization that is not seen by many. And some people might say, I turned out okay. I firmly believe that in addition to my coming to terms with everything, the environment that I grew up in, in Nigeria, didn't leave room for me to even think about how I felt. In a lot of other cases, internalizing all we endured as a child and teenager leads to severe mental health conditions. I exited my body through dissociation. It enabled me to cope better. Everyone has one thing or the other that they've gone through. So you, you internalize everything, 
then externalize it in ways you are not even aware of. We simply blame the driver that undercuts us for our rage, or we blame our partner for the way they have behaved towards us, and so on. But deep down, we are the ones that have allowed ourselves to react to those situations that way. Mental illness is a massive part of problems in our society today and most stems from our childhood and teenage experiences. Mental ill health is the single largest cause of disability in the UK, contributing up to 22.8% of the total burden compared to 15.9% for cancer and 16.2% for cardiovascular disease. The total economic costs of mental illness in England have been estimated at £105.2 billion each year. These costs include direct cost of services, lost productivity at work and reduced quality of life. Several factors contribute to mental illnesses and it is often complicated to know what makes up the percentages in the totality of mental diseases. Childhood experiences, no doubt, would be a large contributing factor to this cost. <laughs>